Season 10, Episode 7, Marcin Hunson. Her dad is back? That's cool. Swordsmith deity from your unseen throne. Bless this sword with your mighty own. This new sword is guaranteed to defend you against Princess Bubblegum's heinous family. Mm. Yeah. I'm wearing it in honor of my I like that sword. That sword is really cool. Your special guest? No. Dang. This sword will serve you much better than your old cursed grass sword. How? This sword is also cursed. Oh, okay. It has a compass in the hilt. Nice. Let's see, so that grass sword is so unbelievably overpowered. I don't know how anything could ever go up against it. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, it's not. Oh. Hunson Abadir. Rim the human. And shake the dog. The night sword. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say that might burn. To send you back. Not so fast. It's like I got a free flight here. I'm going to go see my little girl. Back in the hole, Marceline's dad. I'll behave myself. No soul sucking, no evil stuff. I'm trying to be a better person. Maybe it's too late for me, but I'm How about you bring Marcy here instead so he doesn't get out and go all over the place? Oh, I'm so ashamed of the things I've done. <laughs> yeah, I'm not buying it. That's the fakest. That's a bad idea. <laughs> Time to suck some souls. Yeah, let's see. Let's see can... Oh! <laughs> He's so jolly and full of life. Hey, could you stop saying that, please? So, what's my little monster up to these days? Is she still all goody goody? Still half vampire? Started dating anyone? Yes, yes, but no, then yes again, and maybe. This is a very complicated answer. Look, question to answer. No, she doesn't. Oh. Oh, Chicle, have you finally discovered the vampire girl's weakness? Oh, they're going to try and use Hunson as a weakness to get to Marcy. Because they know Bonnie cares about Marcy. And also faced off against Marcy as well. I think so. At least Fern did. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> it just seems like no matter what I do, I always tick that girl off. Yeah. You <laughs> fool. No seed. Some go with glasses. Summon me. What's that thing? Just gonna put this here, okay? Now let's go suck this some. Literally, just I, I, I can't imagine why she doesn't I like don't you. Know what it is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, also, he didn't, he, it's not, <laughs> he didn't suck, not suck souls because he didn't want to. It's because he can't. Because he's shackled. We're going to jet, Marcy. What? You just got here. Invite them in, Marceline. Okay. And now what? Do you have a bathroom? Yeah, there's one upstairs. I just have to freshen up. Uh-huh. Do you want to tell him that hey, he's wait, shackled? I'm an old guy. Hey, excuse my unsociableness. Do you have an air mattress? Yeah. Great. You can sleep on the air mattress and I'll sleep on your bed. You, oh my. Ah. Why is everyone's father in this show suck, dude? Finn's dad sucks and he's long gone. We just literally had an episode about how Flame Princess's dad sucks. 
and that she had to come to terms with that. And Marcy's dad sucks too. Like everyone's dad sucks in this show. What's the deal, man? It's in the closet. Finn, are you gonna let my little girl blow up that air mattress? It's not on my watch. He needs to stop pretending like he cares. Hey, Dad, I think I'm gonna go out for a walk before bedtime. But Marcy, don't you have a solo gig tonight? I get it. It's air mattress talk. Aren't you giving a concert tonight? Jake, everybody's getting on my nerves. <laughs> concert? It's a good thing your friends remembered that. Thanks, Jake. That's actually pretty good. Hello, Hamburger Hill Cemetery. Nice. By the way, I really like her haircut. I think it looks good on her. Wait, this is a really good song. One of my favorite things in music. I think I've talked about it before, probably. I don't know, man. I've been running this channel for a while. Um, harmonies. I, oh, I love harmonies. Like, my favorite thing about music, usually. If you harmonize perfectly, like it sounds so good. I love harmonies, dude. Hey, Pennebaker. No illegal recording. Who said it's illegal? Oh, he just wanted the can okay, never mind. I was like, what huh? that yeah you're killing the vibe i'm just explaining my part in all this what see he's making it about himself the... <laughs> oh he's getting on my nerves don't make me come out there what you gonna do eat my fries well <gasps> my face oh now he's gonna be really mad <laughs> It's true. Nope. Yep, you're shackled. Oh, super uncalled for. Okay, there's so much going on. <laughs> okay. Oh. But ghosts can hurt them. Oh yeah, he has an atosphere sword now. Nice. Hey. It looks too big to me, but they said yeah, it's this XXL. With punk rockers. Thanks for standing up for me tonight. I'm bad, but I'm not so bad, right? So when are you gonna have some kids? Dad. Well. <laughs> oh. I mean, he did stand up for her, and that's good. You know, he does care about her, but he has a really bad way of showing it. Oh, he was just getting on my nerves. Like, every time something was just, like, not, everything was going fine. And then he just had to open his mouth and, like, ruin something. Like, at the concert or something or getting up close with the camcorder. He likes making everything about himself, too. Like, he's very self-obsessed and narcissistic. And, man, he was getting on my nerves. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, he did stand up for her and you know, went to fight the other guys even though he couldn't. So, I mean, that's pretty cool. Although, to be fair, those guys would never even 
be coming after her and you know spitting on her uh guitar or her bass or whatever if he wasn't there in the first place so you know he was the cause of all the problems Hunson was but you know it, it could be a lot worse <laughs> i guess but yeah definitely not the greatest dad ever i don't know this is a pretty fun episode i i kind of like this it's nice seeing Hunson back i haven't seen him in a while i don't know if we'll see him after this episode maybe uh, but also, it vaguely tied into our overall plot that we're doing, with Chikole being here. Uh, you know, just observing. Uh, it seems like that's a con constant throughout these episodes, is that Bonnie's family is just observing, like, everything. All the characters we know and stuff. Just to get information about, you know, all of them. Uh, and that was very present in this episode, too. So... Honestly, neat episode. It's nice seeing Marcy and Hudson leap link back up again and, you know, see each other. Um, he's still not a great person. Uh, but, you know, you can tell he does care about Marcy, so it's just it's kind of a toss-up, I guess. I don't know. But, yeah. I wondered what uh, Chikle wanted with Hudson, specifically. I'm not exactly sure. But also, Finn has a new cursed sword with Nidosphere powers, so that's cool. The sword, one, looks cool, and two, it's cursed, so that's cool. Maybe it can stand up against the Grass Sword. That would be pretty neat, because the Grass Sword is so freaking OP. Maybe he can actually fight Fern with this new sword. So uh, Peppermint Butler definitely definitely put in work in this episode, I will say. So, yeah, overall, pretty decent episode. I liked it. Um, also, the song that Marcy did, beautiful. I mean, every song she does sounds great, so I wasn't expecting anything less, but sounded fantastic i loved it the harmonies mm, just hit every time but yeah solid episode i enjoyed it so yeah uh, i'll see you guys in the next one